Hey everybody, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. I'm going to show you the proper use of a full body harness and a couple tips when you're setting your tree stands up to keep you safe. First of all, I want to note on this tree stand, you'll see how my top rung of my stick or steps or anything you're using, you want to have this higher up then or at least level to your tree stand base. You do not want to have this tree stand base somewhere up here where you have to go from the stick to step into the stand because if you do that your pressure is not going to be a direct straight down force on the stand it's going to be a sideways force as you try and lift yourself up into there what will happen then is you're going to end up instead of stepping on the stand you're going to step up here on it you're going to push sideways you're going to actually kick that stand when you kick that stand there's where that chance of falling is so you want to make sure that you keep your platform your platform is no higher than level with your last rung on your stick so that you can make a good step into it now, full body harness, absolutely important to have. Uh, it's gonna keep you safe. The old waistband style straps we had, they were good in their time. The problems with them were that when you fell out of the tree, you usually flipped upside down because most of us are top heavy. Uh, they would cut off circulation, you could pass out. There were a lot of variables with them and they also restricted your movement. With that little short strap right here in the back, you couldn't turn very far either direction, you couldn't lean out very good, you couldn't squat down to get below branches, you couldn't do much anything. Where having a full body harness not only gives you a lot of movement and it waves you move up there, it keeps you safe from the second you're on the ground all the way up till through your hunt till the second you're back on the ground. How that's done is with a lineman belt. A lineman belt is one of the best tools there is for this. And what it does is it allows you to be, like I said, connected from the bottom all the way up and all the way back down. How this works basically is you're gonna take your lineman belt, put it on your D-rings. You wanna make sure you got a harness that has a D-ring system on it. Most of them do today. What you're gonna do is you take your lineman belt, wrap it around a stick or around your tree like this, and connect yourself in. And then once you start to climb, you are now connected to the tree. You don't take this down until you get all the way up to your stand and you connect the other one, which I'll show you. Basically, you use this, you're gonna climb up on your sticks. What's nice about it too, is when you actually get up here, you can tighten it and pull yourself closer to the tree. And now I got both hands free. So if I wanted to hang my stand or do something here, I'm not trying to hang onto the tree and fighting with one hand and swinging straps around and trying to balance. By using this lineman belt, I got both hands free. So now I can work on my stand, take things, hook it up. It gives me total flexibility. Same with my sticks. Once I get one stick on, I can hook this lineman belt on, keep myself good, safe and secure right here. Pull my other stick up, connect that stick to the tree, put that one on then loosen this up a little bit like this. So I got some slack, climb up to the next one, once I get there, pull myself in close, hang that stick, do my stand. So it makes it really simple to have both hands free. It allows me to be safe the whole time and get everything I need to get done, done. Now, before I get into the stand, here's where it gets a little tricky. You don't want to just disconnect this and take it and say, okay, uh, there it is, and then climb and step into your stand. You don't want to do that because now I'm disconnected from the tree. And climbing into the stand is where most accidents happen. Again, people will kick the stand out of the way, whatever the variable is, this is where most accidents happen, getting in and getting out. You want to be connected during this state. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this back on like I never took it off. So now you've climbed up to your sticks and you're at the base of your stand right here where you can't get this to go up anymore. What you're going to do is take this one here that you have, which is the one that you're going to hunt with, connect this one to your actual tree, so I'll take this and throw it around up here. Try and get it up as high as you can on there so that it's easier for you. And connect that on. And then now, once I have that on there, I am connected to that tree there. So I am safely connected now to that tree there. I can now go ahead and remove my lineman belt. Let that come out of the way. And then I can climb up and I can step into my tree stand where I know I'm safe. Now I'm not putting all my weight on that stand yet. I'm checking it if you notice to make sure it's not gonna kick out and it is stable. Once I know it's good, I put straight down pressure on it. Don't slide, don't wiggle, don't swing into it. Step straight down on it so you got good pressure. Then I know I'm in and I'm good and I'm safe. Now what I can do is I can take this one, loosen it up enough that I can slide it up to where I want it for my hunting position, which you wanna have it up above you. And then I can retighten it down and have it locked on the tree where I'm good and safe and set. And I know I'm not gonna have to worry about nothing. So that gets me in here and now I'm set. Now I take my lineman belt, pop it off, 
and I just hang it right here in the tree and I leave it sit there until I'm ready to come down. And now I am officially set and ready to hunt. <coughs> now, some of the advantages, again, like I said, those little waist belt, belt ones that we had, they really restricted your movement. With this system being up here from my shoulders, I got total pivot ability. I can move around that way. I can spin all the way around that direction. I can get down low to shoot if I want to kneel underneath something. I can shoot from sitting, standing. It doesn't matter. It keeps me nice and safe the entire time I'm up here, and it gives me much more mobility for hunting. Now, when I'm ready to come down, all I have to do before I unhook this, don't even touch that yet, you want to connect your, your lineman belt back to your D-rings. Then I'm going to take and throw this. Actually, wait, sorry, getting ahead of myself. I connect that to there. I don't take it any farther yet, but make sure it's set and ready to go. I'm going to give myself just a little bit of slack. I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to give myself some slack in this one so that I can bring it down a little lower. Like this, so I can wiggle it down and get it down so it's just kind of right above where your seat is here so you got enough wiggle room to be able to get back to your six. Tighten it up so it stays good. Now I'm going to step over again. Same thing, I'm not just going to jump on my sticks. I'm not going to slide sideways under and put sideways pressure. I want to just have a slow, steady, straight down pressure on the stick. Make sure you're on there good. Step onto your stick. Once you get down on here and you're coming down, you can grab your lineman belt. Come underneath your stand with the lineman belt. Notice how I still got both hands free. I'm connected to this tree. 100% safe the whole time and I'm not working up a sweat and getting and getting tired and all smelly and everything from trying to, again, fight and monkey and hang on to this tree. It makes it really easy. I'll throw my strap around like that, connect it to my D-rings like this, pull her good and tight. Now I'm connected to that tree there. Now I can actually unhook this one like that. Pull it out of the way, and now I am free to go ahead and climb down. I'm all set and ready to go. My sting is on here. I can take my stand down if I want to, or I can just, if I'm leaving it, I can let out enough slack that I can get down my sticks, and I can work my way right down the tree safely connected to it. So that's the method that's going to work best, and that's the way to use a safety harness that's going to keep you the safest. Now, one more thing I do want to point out in here, too, if you have younger people that are out hunting with you, uh, or if you have stands that you leave up in spots all the time and you're not constantly changing locations, and that is to use some kind of a tethering system. This is really cool. This is a fall guy system here. I've had it for a lot of years. I actually bought it uh, for my wife and the kids when they hunt from a tree stand. But what it is is I actually go up there and I hang this from the stand. Once I have it up there and it's hung, above my stand this comes down and I leave it down here at the bottom of the sticks where it's easy to get to when they come to the stand all they have to do is take this they connect it right to the back of their shoulder strap here and then as they climb this thing will feed and retract up with them as they go up the tree so they're safely connected the whole time and then when they get up there they can even leave it connected up there and use this as their actual belt system that they have when they come down they just climb down it retracts out with them but if they go too fast it locks if they start to fall it locks and it won't let them go and then they can regather themselves and keep right on going so a tether system definitely comes in handy the only downside to a tether system is when you first put it in a tree you have to actually climb the tree without the tether to get up there and connect it to the tree once you have it on there like i said everybody that uses that stand can be completely safely tethered into that tree the whole way from the ground all the way back up so they do work great if you're going to hunt stands over and over again or if you have kids that are going to be hunting stands or or people that aren't familiar with tree stands it's a good way to have that extra precaution while they're learning in there too so uh, a nice little system that, that's definitely worth consideration but that basically is some of the things that you're going to want to know for wearing a full body harness how to do it the right way and if you're going to hunt from a tree stand you have to wear a full body harness uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, utility workers loggers uh, pole guys they all wear a safety harness when they're in a tree and it's because nobody's invincible accidents can happen to anybody and uh, broken bones and death and things like that occur all the time from people falling out of trees you owe it to yourself and your family to make sure that you are going to come home from your hunt safe and this is the best way to guarantee you're going to do that if you're in a tree stand so uh, there it is for you a couple of pointers last little tip i want to make in there you'll notice that my stick location is off to the side of my stand nothing worse than actually having your sticks come under your stand and then you got to try and monkey your way in there so when you set your stand location try to pick a spot where you're going to have when, when you're looking at the tree from the ground and you go okay i'm going to put my stand right there 
Then when you start climbing and you know that's where you want your stand, don't climb from underneath the stand. Come over to the side so as you climb up, you know you're going to have that real simple transition to get into the stand and back to the steps. So uh, there it is for you. And again, it's Jason Samkoviak with the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. I will be back with more uh, stuff soon, and thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.